Hi everybody, Jill here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do something I think well, I've been looking forward to this. I've been kind of planning this for a while. I have my little table in front of me filled with my absolute favorite discoveries this summer. And I think it's my way of trying to wind down the season. I am ready for fall. I mean, I am so ready for fall. We're having a little bit of a heat wave again here in the Washington state area. Um, I don't live in Seattle, but the Seattle area so yeah just gonna put that out there how many of you are also ready for the seasons to change i love all the seasons but i would say fall is my favorite minus all the spiders that we get here um but it really is kind of my favorite but i love them all i wouldn't love fall if we didn't have a great summer you know and all of that so okay that's going in a different direction let's try to keep on course jill I did create this really pretty eye look. I love it. I love how it turned out with the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals palette. I really am enjoying that palette, but I didn't include it today just because I'm still playing with it. And I feel like for it to really make this sort of my favorites, because I don't do many of these this may actually be only the second one I've ever made. I'm going to be making more of them. I think I'm going to do them seasonally. So, you know, I'll be doing one for winter finds and yada yada. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't quite put it in this category. And with that said, um, I did add the Tati Beauty Blendiful to this because... I have been really enjoying this. I'm going to talk about it a little bit because I do have a gripe and it's something I'm struggling with with it. Um, but as for using it, and I will use it in this whole look, it, it's I'm enjoying it tremendously. Is it worth the $18? I don't know because I don't spend $20 for the beauty sponge. You know, the, the original that costs $20, bucks, i will spend 5 bucks on a good beauty sponge. You know, I use e.l.f. sponges and I'm totally happy with that. So, you know, how do I justify it of being okay to spend $18 on this? I don't know. I just, <laughs> I think the big clue is, is once I'm ready to replace this, will I? I mean, I bought this with my own money, but would I buy it again? And right now, today, I would say yes, I would. I'm enjoying it and I'll, I'll talk about it a little more later. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to start. Okay, we're, I just think we're going to go right to the body because there is a product here that I'm telling you, it is very obscure. I found it on Amazon. I know that these are so popular this summer and you can pay a fortune for these sort of body luminizers. I am very, very fair. So I do bronze a little bit, chest, shoulders. I wore this shirt because I, I just kind of wanted to show this off. You might not be able to tell too much because I am so fair. It's by Fora, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it is a body luminizer. And I first like to bronze. So I'm going to go ahead and my favorite bronzer to date actually is the it cosmetics ombre bronzer uh, i i usually grab this one nine times out of ten you can see that it's very well used when i want to do stuff like this or even my face but i got a new one it's pretty dark for me but i'm going to kind of load my brush accordingly and i think we'll be okay but it is by wander beauty and i do love their lip sort of stick I don't even know if you what you would call those so I am going to try this here instead I'm gonna so. use this as my it cosmetics body brush love this and I apply both this and the luminizer uh, with this brush but I'm gonna go in first with this and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of load it up kind of both sides the top bronzing colors there I am going to take a towel or something and just kind of do it first there. And I shouldn't have put a necklace on yet. <gasps> I 
been really into this this year. <laughs> I'm, I'm usually not one that goes for the body bronzing and, and all of this, but I don't know. I, I just have been really into this. Okay, so now we're going to go into this. This is beautiful. It is sort of a rose gold. It has, it has enough of a tint to it that it it works really nicely with my fair skin. I've even used it without bronzing and it just gives a pretty, really pretty glow. Now this is oil based, it's sort of waxy in feeling and it is hard to get off. You have to use a definitely, you know, you've got to wash it off your body with some soap or something because it will not come off with water. And which is kind of nice because it's gonna stay there if you sweat um, or anything like that, but yeah. So what I do is I take it and I literally just put it right on this brush. And I don't know, I shouldn't have put this necklace on. And then I just put it on and it is just absolutely gorgeous. Put it here on the shoulders, right here along the collarbone. I want to add a little more. I can. Can you guys see that? In person, I have to say, it is actually really, really pretty. Um, it isn't over the top. It's just this really pretty sort of rose gold sort of finish to it. And it's just pretty. So this has been one of my absolute favorite finds this summer for sure and it's so obscure you can find these honestly everywhere because it is really popular is it super sparkly well i mean if you i'm looking in my five times mirror and yes there is sparkles you know that fine fine sort of glittery sparkle but they're not chunky i think it's very tasteful beautiful i bet i bet it's beautiful in the evening you know with the, the pretty lighting like do we go anywhere? I don't. I don't do anything, honestly, but it would be gorgeous. I'm just saying. Lights from candles flickering. Beautiful. Sunset. Gorgeous. Yes. Take it on vacation. It's, it's, it's pretty. And it's fun. It's just fun. You may have noticed I have been experimenting a lot with drugstore makeup lately because it was highly requested that I do so, and I'm having so much fun doing that. There are two liquid foundations in the drugstore arena that really stand out that I love that I discovered this summer. The first one is the most recent, which is the Catrice True to Skin, or True Skin, that's it, the Catrice True Skin Liquid Foundation. Um, it is definitely more coverage than I am used to, but it feels really nice on the skin. Uh, it doesn't feel heavy and, and, and through the day I have checked and it wears pretty dang nicely I have to say I have sparkles on my face because I did use some glitter on my eyes and so my face is a little sparkly which is fine I, I don't mind that at all so yeah my only problem was that I, I ended up having to wait a while because it was out of stock so I got three colors three shades that I thought that I thought may work for me. Well, really none of them actually worked great. So what I did today is I ended up mixing the 007 with the warm beige, which is 020. And I used my little palette and ended up mixing those up. And I have to say that gave me a pretty great match. It was a lot better than using any one individually. And then after I got that on, I ended up using the lightest shade, which was 004, which is, I believe, called Neutral Porcelain. And I just very lightly added that to the center of my face because I do like to brighten up the center of my face. So doing that actually worked out really well. And I can utilize all three of the ones that I bought. They're $11, so my goodness, for $33, I was able to get three when I have 
paid upwards of $50, $55 for one foundation in the past. And I have to tell you, other than the smell, I am enjoying this quite a bit. So I did just last week a video I uploaded and we dove into the whole Tati Beauty experience. I will put that up here and you'll find that link down below in the description box as well. Uh, so there I talk about it in depth. So I won't go in too much other to say that I really am still enjoying this. It has become really my favorite way to put on my foundations. I have used it with a couple others and it just gives me, no matter what foundation I am using, it just seems to really give me a beautiful finish. I think because along with spreading it nicely, I'm able to really kind of, you know, kind of tap it into the pores I don't use primers other than I prime my skin naturally with really pretty skincare that I love. And, you know, I make sure to add sort of a lipid, a nice lipid sort of serum or component to act as a nice primer. I am going to experiment with those because you have requested that I do so. So I am going to try out a couple that I have my eye on pretty soon. You never know, I might absolutely just find them phenomenal. So be on the lookout for those but in the meantime this uh, works really nicely it just really moves the product around i'm able to get it into my hairline really easily and down to my neck or just all the crevices the corners of the nose and the nostrils i'm able to press it in I'm ex I'm, I really am enjoying this. I mentioned a little earlier, there is one thing that is driving me a little crazy and I'm struggling, and that is cleaning this. It is so important that you clean this right away. I used this before I filmed and I washed it right away. I did experiment on purpose and I let it sit overnight. I would say definitely that makes it a much more difficult to remove, but I have to say doing it even right away I still struggle to really get this clean. It is clean now, but what I had to go through to get it to this point, it is a little bit annoying. And I'm not sure if it's the velour itself that makes it a little bit more difficult than say cleaning a makeup sponge. But um, it's not keeping me from using this though. <laughs> but yeah, so what, I noticed that she does is she uses a glycerin soap. I will try that because I noticed that's what she uses. Uh, I What I have been using is bar soap, so I think it's Dove for sensitive skin. I'll, I'll do that first after I get it good and wet and it really gets some of it, but you can see, cause you know, we're using creams. I'm using cream foundation, I'm using cream blushes, you know, and, and, and concealer and all of that. Plus I even used it today to powder under my eyes, which I love using this for that. It's the creams though we really have to be careful of. We have to get those out so they don't harbor, you know, all that bacteria that can happen. I have to do is I have to use, I use oil cleansers, oil-based cleansers as my first cleanse because I do a double cleanse at night. So I had to use some oil cleanser to kind of break up the creams in this and that really helps to do a good job. But I noticed it still didn't do it all. So I had to use my makeup remover, which is um, the one that I like to use is by The Body Shop. I still love that makeup remover. And that just sort of finishes it off and really does get rid of most of it. I go back in then and I use the bar soap again and work it out. Then I put it between two towels and I press the towels together and really try to get it dry and more product comes off on that. So I feel like it, when I'm done, it's quite clean, but it takes a lot to get it there. So that is probably uh, one of my, if not the only problem I have with the Blendiful. Moving along with the face, for sure, one of the most favorite discoveries this summer for me has been my Patrick Ta bronzer palette. My goodness, do I love this thing. I cannot tell you how it has changed the way I sort of do my makeup. And that creamy bronzer is the most awesome color for my fair skin. Plus it blends out absolutely dreamy. 
blends super nice. You know how I don't like any lines, you know, of demarcation in my makeup at all. And it just works so well. And I think the biggest, most amazing thing about this is the color. You know, you can get these in different shades. And this, I believe, is the light. I will put the description to all of these down in the description box for you. But yeah, so happy about it. And then really kind of to set it, I went ahead and did the the powder, which is this gorgeous sort of gold bronzy sun loving color and it really kind of sits there in the background all day and I am just enjoying this it is truly a favorite favorite find and I use it every day unless I'm experimenting with other creamy bronzers or anything like that but this is so far nothing has trumped this so far the creamy bronzers that I have tried and there haven't been that much honestly but this this so far wins out every single time yes to, to kind of digress a bit true skin by Catrice I am loving it the other drugstore foundation that absolutely blew me away as well is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow 24 Hour Foundation. I love so much that somehow my cat had knocked this off onto the ground at some point. And then who knows, maybe it was a day or two later, my puppy got a hold of it, got his teeth in it and ended up getting some of it. It was all over the ground. I had to throw it away. I went immediately and ordered some more off of Amazon. Uh, I, I really do love this. It doesn't give like the coverage that this one does, the true skin, but it gives me sort of that perfect happy place kind of coverage that I do love. I do have a lot of pigmentation. I don't care if some of it shows. I want a really sort of natural skin like foundation that just it's my skin but better. And this really is my favorite when it comes to sitting in that category of even the foundations I've used over the years in the high end. Uh, I really do love it. Do I love it as much as because I do love the Anastasia liquid foundation i mean I, I love that foundation but that one i would say is definitely gives me more coverage so i guess if i'm in the mood for a little more coverage and a lot more do then i'll reach for that one otherwise this one is is what i reach for i have been so enamored with creamy not just the creamy sort of contouring and the bronzing but the creamy blushes late summer i really got obsessed with that so i've tried a few not a ton but i have tried a few the one that we're looking at in this look today is the mineral fusion and i'm going to be showing you that here in a bit absolutely beautiful it's gorgeous i love it and what i do tend to do even when i use the creamy blushes is i do still like to set them with a powder blush and i know that seems a little counterproductive but i just don't use a lot of that powder blush and i try to pick one that is kind of sheer and maybe a bit luminous so um, it just sort of sets that creamy component you know that creamy blush and helps it to last a lot longer and it doesn't take away how pretty those creamy blushes blend out and it still is kind of a from within color rather than it just sitting on top of the skin loving the cream blushes and as you may have seen i have done a video as well um, and we used one of these this is the elf um, multitasking sticks and they're creamy and gorgeous and so reasonably priced and I'm enjoying those as well. Another new one that I am trying out and I've used it once is the Honest Beauty another cream blush and I do love it as well. I'm just having a lot of fun with them. You know we got all price points here and I love them all a lot so this one I couldn't tell you how it wears because I've not used it this is my first time today so I have to say though this color is absolutely stunning you know you could use this on your lips I hate just sort of putting it on my lips like that I'm just gonna do it okay it's just me oh yeah Ooh.
gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, I love the multitasking. I just love it. Okay. Loving the cream knee blushes. That is for sure. And um, that was a, a wonderful fine late summer to kind of get into that. Talking about a little bit of this look, these next pieces aren't necessarily made it into my favorite discoveries, but this is actually a gorgeous blush and it is by Catrice and it's their oil infused blush. And as far as I know, it only comes in this one color and it is really pretty, very sheer. And it has this sort of gold highlight to it. Very pretty and it's a nice one to pair with a similar color of a cream blush, I think. And that's what I use today. Okay, this did make definitely the summer find list of my favorites and it is it is the buxom white russian glow i think highlighter it is a beautiful sort of champagne color and it gives me this sort of perfect sort of highlight i don't like them to be really white i don't like them to be really in your face i just want it to give my skin another extra layer of prettiness to it and that's what this does you know i even like to grab some and just kind of highlight the collarbone a little maybe just the center here just really pretty definitely a favorite this summer physicians formula really stood out to me this summer yeah. so here's one that I haven't really talked about officially in a video and I am loving the killer curves physician formula mascara it does take a little more effort to build but zero flakiness I mean throughout the day I really don't experience any flakiness you know those little bits that start falling off down here and that is a huge win for me I mean even the Too Faced Better Than Sex would flake so the L'Oreal Air Volume is a, a wonderful mascara I absolutely love it but and I, I can actually get a little more volume and just more lash with that one, but it does get a bit flaky, I have noticed. Whereas this one takes me a little longer to get there, but I have no flakiness at all. So loving this Physician Formula Mascara. Sticking with the Physician's Formula, so once I get everything finished on my face, except for my mascara, I go in and I set everything with the Physician's Formula Setter Spray. This is a wonderfully fine mist um, you really can go to town and it's just barely just hugging your skin love and you definitely can tell a difference once you've set your makeup with this it will last longer through the day even the eyes everything so I'm loving this and it is the essence of healthy is what it's called. It has been a lovely find. It's it's in a wonderful package. It's glass. So be careful. Don't drop it. I use it every time I put makeup on and I barely have used any. This this mister is so fine that I think you just don't you feel like you're just packing it on and that you're using so much, but it's just the finest mist. So it's going to last me for a good long time and it sets my skin. If there's any sort of powdery look to my skin, even when I powder, this is perhaps the biggest positive to using this. Once I set my concealer under, no matter what it is, you know, if you have mature eyes and crepiness, you know what happens when you set your concealer. I mean, I would love to go without setting my concealer. I can't. It just, it'll be a mess before too long at all. So I have to do it. What this does is it gets rid of any of that powderiness. It takes away sort of how it will bring all of that crepiness to the forefront. Some powders definitely are better than others, absolutely. But it's going to happen, you know? We have lines, we have wrinkles, we have crepiness. It's just going to happen. This helps tremendously. I think I'm probably going to do a separate video just about how adding this to your concealer routine is a huge win and I love it. The last thing, this last thing is not sort of a beauty product. 
it's just something that I ordered off Amazon and I love it. And it's these silicone sort of heavy soap dishes. I use bar soap as my cleanser and I just hate setting it on the shelf in that's it, you know, in the shower. It gets gross, it slips off, it makes the shelf icky. And I wanted something that would sort of naturally drain the soap as well. I tried a bamboo sort of thing and I had that for a very long time and the bamboo thing actually got really gross and I had to throw it away. And this is something I think is going to be easier to clean. It's going to be, you know, in all the ways, just hygienically and everything. Um, I have, it came with three. I'll put the link down below. It came with three, but I'm using one, obviously, in my shower. And it happens to be gray, and that's kind of the color scheme of, of my shower. And I have to say, I was really amazed at how inexpensive these were. I also love that they have a little drain thing here in the front. That way it's sort of, you put it to the edge of the shelf and all of that drains off of the shelf and doesn't even get on the shelf. And I love that. I also love the weight of these. They're not so light that they're just gonna fall off on the ground when you grab the soap. Um, they're fairly heavy, they're thick. They stand up a little bit, you know, off of the actual surface. And I have to say, this has been one of my favorite sort of Amazon purchases that I've had in a while, and I had to share it with you. And that's it. All right, so I love watching these on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this. I do plan on doing, and let me know if you, you like this idea, but I do plan on doing these seasonally. It gives me enough time to discover products and use them for a while. And I will only put the products on this list that truly become standout products that I've used a lot and that I've grown to love. Let me know some of your favorite finds this summer. I would love to know. I read all your comments down below. I always try to throw you a heart and a comment if I can. So please say hi down there. Let me know some favorites that you discovered this summer. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay well, and stay young at heart. Bye-bye.